So it's the starter's orders qualifiers time. It's the hurdle variety first. And let's have a look and see what the distance is this week. It's two miles six this week and naught to 110. And the top one is Clifton Hassel for Ryan Costello. International Rescue, Paul Rhodes, Beauty Queen, Martin Leedham, Winchester, Daniel French, Jenny Jingle, Thomas Rogers, Woodlass Drummer, James Shea, Cirque, Martin Leedham, Jovial Apparent, Thomas Rogers, and Goodnight Naples, Ryan Costello. So nine of them then in this naught to 100. It's pretty low grade for the hurdles. Probably pretty much as low a hurdle as, as we've got, I would think, in this. And... Let's take a look as they call in, and away they go. And International Rescue is the first one to show, then, as they make their way towards the first of the flights of hurdles. And they've got 13 of them to take in this two and three quarter miler. I dare say we've got one or two, two and a half milers, and one or two, three milers in this. So it could be quite interesting. Not that many specialist two mile six furlong hurdlers around, if there are, and they're rated under 110. There might well be a good thing in this, but it's International Rescue gets to the first in the lead and gets over it nicely from Clifton Hassel, who's gone over it in second. Then comes Circan Beauty Queen third and fourth with a little gap of about half a length then to Winchester as they go past the winning post then with a couple of circuits to go and International Rescue has opened up a two and a half length lead to Cirque on the inside second, then Clifton Hassel third as they get over number two. Uh, racing away from us again then and... International Rescue is in front. It's opened up a lead of a good probably four lengths now to Cirque in second, Clifton Hassel is third, then Winchester is fourth, and Goodnight Naples, and then Beauty Queen, and then Woodlast Drummer, and finally Jenny Jingle as they get over number three. And we lost one there, I think Goodnight Naples has gone, so a rarity of a faller in the hurdles. I don't see that many of those in SO7. I'm sure we used to get more fallers over the hurdles in SO6, but seem that many in the hurdles but good night Naples has gone so it's good night to that one and it's international rescues in the lead then by four to Cirque in second and Clifton Hassel in third Jovial Apparent is fourth then Winchester and Beauty Queen and Woodlass Drummer and finally Jenny Jingle as they get over number four and Jenny Jingle did her best to prove me wrong again there by getting rid of the jockey but Still in the plate and still in the race. Uh, International Rescue is still in the lead. By four then to Cirque in second and Clifton Hassel third. Jovial Apparent is fourth and Winchester is fifth. Then Beauty Queen and Woodlass Drummer and Jenny Jingle is just about the back marker then. But a long old way to go yet. They've still got more than a mile and a half to go. And International Rescue is happy in the lead. Coming to flight number five. A good jump in second place there by Clifton Hassel. Took off in third and landed in second that's always a good sign as they get to this sixth and that time it was the opposite way around it was Cirque that took off in third and landed in second so one or two decent hurdlers here it would seem then some decent hurdling anyway and Jenny Jingle has moved up a little bit at the back that one I think was around last season I'm not sure that's a chase in most weeks it's certainly been around a while as they race up towards the stand then and we get a look at them from the stand side view and International Rescue is the leader by four, skipping over number seven. With Clifton Hassel second and Winch, that's a good view. <laughs> International Rescue in the lead, and as they come up past the winning post, and they've got a circuit to go. And International Rescue in front, while we were doing all that camera work, Clifton Hassel's stayed second, but Winchester's moved up to third, and Jones got a pass moved up to fourth. Circus dropped right back to fifth, then comes Beauty Queen and Woodlass Drummer and Jenny Jingle, just the back marker but they're coming down towards the final mile of the race will no doubt begin to unfold a little bit now, International Rescue though continues to lead by four, but the rest of them jock in for position, you can see Beauty Queen looks like it's got to be pulled wide then the jockey keeps trying to pull it back in again over number nine they go and International Rescue in the lead from Clifton Hassel and then Jovial Apparent in third, circling between the two of them is fourth and then Beauty Queen has now got to the rail, then Winchester who's just lost its place, Woodlass Drummer on the inside and Jenny Jingle is going to try and come between runners as they race down towards the next then, and International Rescue it is in the lead from Cirque who's getting much closer in second, then Jovial Apparent is third, and Clifton Hassel and then Beauty Queen over the fourth last they go good jump there by Beauty Queen, sees that will move up into third, but they're going to get to this International Rescue, still too clear of Cirque in second, Beauty Queen third, Clifton Hassel fourth, Jovial Apparent fifth, Jenny Jingle is now creeping into it, Woodlass Drummer and Winchester look to be struggling, they've only got three more flights to take and International Rescue has led all the way so far, but Cirque and Beauty Queen are closing, so too is
is jovial apparent Clifton Hustle's now going to try and go up the inside Jenny Jingle is getting closer Winchester's trying to run on again and Woodlust Drummer isn't totally out of it either as they get over to third last International Rescue in front from Beauty Queen Clifton Hustle and jovial apparent Cirque's hit a flat spot Jenny Jingle starting to run on over the second last they go Beauty Queen at the front but not for long jovial apparent takes it up it's jovial apparent on the near side Beauty Queen on the far side Clifton Hustle trying to close they've got one more flight to take Beauty Queen on the far side just puts her head in front it's Beauty Queen from Jovial Apparent Clifton Hustle back in third here comes Jenny Jingle and race down towards this final flight then a one furlong to go it's Beauty Queen in the lead Beauty Queen from Jovial Apparent over it they go Beauty Queen jumped it slowly Jovial Apparent jumped it better it's Jovial Apparent on the outside Beauty Queen trying to fight back but Jovial Apparent looks like it's got enough in hand and up towards the line Jovial Apparent takes it Beauty Queen is second and Clifton Hustle and Jenny Jingle and then Sir International Rescue dropped out to me last and Jovial Apparent took it with a better jump at the last I think that was the decisive factor there takes it by a good length and a half in the end yet another second for me and that won't be of any great concern to the trainer of Jovial Apparent oh, I'm pretty sure it's Thomas Rogers let's take a look and see eventually yeah, it is indeed so jovial apparently whatever thomas rogers beauty queen second for martin leadham clifton hassel was third for ryan costello jenny jingle for the winning trainer was fourth and cirque for the trainer in the position was fifth